Are you a violinist who is embarking on their shifting journey? Do you want to learn the exact process that I use to teach my students how to shift? Well, then keep watching. If we haven't met, hi, I'm Megan. I'm a violinist and teacher. I've been playing for over 20 years. I've taught hundreds of students, and it's my mission to teach you to be able to play violin as easily and as joyfully as possible. In this video, we're going to be talking about all things shifting. So first of all, what is shifting? Well, shifting is simply changing positions on the violin. And why would we want to shift? Well, there's three basic reasons why we would want to shift. Number one is to play notes that we can't play in first position. Two would be to make a passage easier. And what I mean by that is to eliminate string crossings. So say you had a passage that was mostly D, E, F sharp, and G. That would be a lot easier to play in third position on the A string rather than in first position on A and E because you would eliminate so, so, so many string crossings. And I think we can all agree that string crossings are hard. And the third reason would be we want a different tone color. So all of the strings have their own unique sound. And if you play something on the A string, it's going to sound different than if you play it on the D string. So if you're going for a certain tone color, you may choose to shift to a different position so that you can play that passage on a different string. So that's what shifting is. Now let's talk about some basic principles of shifting that you need to know before we start. So first of all, shifting is the same basic motion as arm vibrato. All you are doing is opening and closing your elbow like this. Okay, do you wanna try that with me? Just go up and down, up and down. Easy, right? Another thing is that your thumb and first finger are a unit. This means that they should always be moving together and you never want the thumb to get left behind or stuck. So say I shifted up to first, or sorry, third position, and then I shifted down, but oh no, my thumb didn't make it. <laughs> our thumb always needs to be traveling right across from our first finger. And the third thing is, unless you are shifting on an open string, your finger should never come out of contact with the string. I like to say we are shifting, not jumping. So that means I am simply sliding my finger along the string rather than actually lifting it off of the string. So I like to teach third position first for two reasons. First of all, I feel like it is a very, very commonly used position and a great position to know. Second of all, um, it helps us really feel the shifting motion. If we were just going from first position to second position, that is such a small difference. We're not going to get to work on the motion as much as we would if we were going from first position to third position. So the first step in learning how to shift is something I like to call the matching game. So here we are simply going to be shifting between first position and third position on an open string and looking to match our pitch. So I'm going to start out by playing two third fingers on the E string. Now I'm going to play two open E's. While I'm playing those open E's, I'm going to move my hand up so that my first finger lands where my third finger was. And then I play my first finger two times. So those pitches should match. And then I repeat. You wanna try it with me? slowly and evenly. So you want your hand to be moving at one speed rather than speeding up and slowing down as you shift. So you can practice that exercise on all four strings. The next exercise we are going to do is not necessarily a shifting exercise, but it is going to get us used to first of all playing in third position and second of all learning where the notes are in third position. I have a whole separate video on that that I'm going to link down here in the description. If you're interested in learning where all of the notes are in third position, definitely go check that out. 
Now, when we shift up the violin, the notes get closer together. So in third position, our fingers are going to feel a lot closer together than they are in third position. So the exercise is to play long, long ago in G major in third position. So if you're not familiar with that piece, it's in Suzuki book two, and I'll leave the sheet music link down here below. So first to find my note, my first note, I'm gonna start on a G. I'm gonna play just my regular G, third finger on the D string in first position. Then I'm gonna play two open Ds. Shift up. Just like we just practiced and I found my note. Then I will continue to play long, long ago. I won't go through the whole thing here, but I will go through the first line. So I'm gonna play a one. One. to get used to playing these notes with different fingers, but it's absolutely possible. If you need to, you can write the finger numbers above the notes. You can also turn on your tuner while you're practicing this exercise just to make sure that you're hitting all of the notes in tune. Remember, your fingers are going to feel closer in third position than they did in first position. And the final step is going to be playing a two octave G major scale with a shift in it. Now, when you're practicing shifts, that um, aren't on the open string, so when you're shifting with your actual finger, there are three steps that you can follow. The first step is just to shift slowly and play out the slide. The second step is to still shift slowly, but lighten your finger pressure as you slide. And the third shift step <laughs> would be to just speed it up. So let's practice our G major scale. We're gonna start just on open G. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Now stop, take your F sharp off, and use your one, your first finger, to slide up to G very slowly and play out the slide. And then we would complete the scale in third position. Now, you might be saying, well, Megan, why do you take your second finger off and shift with your first finger? Easy. When we're shifting, we want to use our first finger as a guide because our first finger dictates what position we're in. So I lifted my first finger, shifted with my one, and I know that I am in third position. So now let's practice the same thing, but with lightening our finger pressure on the shift. Good. Remember at the very beginning you want to shift slowly so that you can hear when you land on the pitch. Additionally, when you're shifting, you should be measuring the distance in your head so that you can um, repeat that successfully the next time and learn the distance of the shift. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate the shift down. So I come back down the scale, I'm on my one. Again, I'm gonna use this note as a guide. So shift down and then place my two and then continue down the scale. Again, just using that first finger as a guide to firmly establish us in our new position. Let's play the two octave G major scale with a shift in it together. Ready, go.
any questions about shifting or anything I covered in this video, definitely drop me a comment and thank you so much for watching.